Welcome back to another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me, coming to you from the Zia Comics Broadcasting Lair in beautiful downtown Las Cruces. I am your host, Troy Stegner. I have an unboxing here for you. This is one of the biggest. This is the BAM! The BAM comic box. BAM. BAM BAM BAM! So this month is for June. We got, let's open this thing up. You know, gratuitous amounts of the BAM logo on a piece of paper. And this month we have, it is, uh, looks like the Venom variant for number 30, which is the, uh, the last of the Venom Beyond series. So this one is the CGC, or actually CBCS graded, 9.8. Um, signed by Donnie Cates, the writer. Donnie Cates did he? He's a pretty, a pretty prolific writer. He's done a lot of big stuff. Thor uh, was one of his big runs. He's had a pretty good run on Venom. So this is uh, wow, number thirty. Uh, I believe that, like I said, the end of uh, Venom Beyond is when they go to. Uh, Mark Gargan, the, the Scorpion, he's got, a, he's got a vendetta against Eddie Brock. So he got a hold of some modified uh, War Machine Mark III type armor, and he was trying to go after him, and something happened. They got sucked into a, an alternate universe, and in the alternate universe, Eddie Brock was dead. His wife, Ann, Ann Wiling, was still alive, and uh, the son, Dylan, uh, <laughs> Actually, was ruling the, the world. He, he, I believe, his code, it was named Codex, and uh, yeah, he just he controlled all the symbiotes. So he basically put a symbiote on everybody, so that he could control them. I mean, even the Avengers. If I remember correctly, there's a page in here with the Avengers that uh, it shows them all. Um, I wouldn't say venomized because it wasn't venom then, but they they got the symbiote thing. Like even Captain America said, the star has got the. The spider or dragon, if you're into the King of Black and all, uh, on on their suits. Uh, so they get there, uh, and, and that universe's uh, version of Reed Richards is a little he's a little touched. He's uh, still a super genius, but he's just uh, he's got some issues, some mental issues, and they even draw him as such with the crazy gray hair, long beard, and. Uh, I believe the eyes were crossed, but they uh, they figure out uh, Doc Ock, who works for Codex, who is actually Dylan Brock in this alternate universe. He reverse engineers Mark Gargan's armor, and he kind of figures out how they were able to, to jump from their dimension to this one. So he has all the plans to, to build it because uh, Codex wanted to do that and kind of take over the other uh, universe, also the other reality or dimension, whatever they want to classify it as. Uh, they, Venom and his wife Anne, who uh, in that universe, Anne Wiling has one of the symbiotes, and she is able to uh, form a little resistance group, which the their version of Reed Richards, the crazy Reed Richards, is also part of it. And uh, and actually, I, I believe Cletus Cassidy was part of the resistance too. So in that universe, he was a quasi good guy. Uh, yeah, it was a great story, um, and it, it dovetailed right into, I believe, the beginning of King and Black uh, with Null coming to Earth, because when they finally do uh, get back to their own dimension, uh, they, that's, they notice there's no stars, and that's, you know, the next thing it shows is, you know, coming next, King and Black. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm really, I'm loving the fact that they used the variant cover, not the normal. And that Donnie Cates signed it. And let's see, it was exclusive for Bambox. Uh, cover art, Shrine Stegman, of course, he does a lot of the Venom stuff. Uh, interior art, I guess, is Luke Ross, story by Donnie Cates. Uh, you know, the major characters, of course, are going to be Codex, uh, Virus, I forgot about Virus, uh, Agent Venom, which is in their universe, and Wiling, and Dylan Brock, who, if you've been reading Venom, in the most recent Venom, uh, number 35, the 200th issue, 
he actually kind of takes over the Venom symbiote because uh, Eddie's too busy controlling all the other symbiotes. So yeah, I'm loving it, man. I'm, I'm really loving it a lot. Uh, but that's not just the CBC comic, CBCS comic that they sent. You also get a, if I can pick it up, you also get a reader copy of the same issue, unsigned of course, just so you can read it. Because you know, a lot of people don't like the slabs because it makes it harder to read. They also, again, uh, they, they include these in all of them. It's a wall mount for your comics. You kind of, you know, you, you twist that around and you, you can size it for however big you want. So it'll fit a regular comic uh, in a bag and board or you can, it's more for the slabs. It makes it a lot easier. We also have the monthly giveaway. And on the back, it's showing you, you know, they have, you can get a, print of the Sandlot, signed by, I guess, the whole cast, or you can get um, uh, Star Wars uh, Laura Dern autograph, I believe that's Laura Dern, and uh, you can get a Pennywise Funko Pop signed by Tim Curry. If I had to pick, I don't know, that's a tough one. I, I'm not much of a Laura Dern fan, but the Sandlot cast signed, auto, that would be pretty freaking cool to have. but. You know, the Pennywise Funko Pop, that would be my my big hope. What you do is you scan this QR code, and they have a couple of uh, things you can do for entries, and I think one of them is like like them on Instagram, another is to follow them on Twitter. It's just different things you do that, that counts for an entry into this drawing, which will be July 22nd. Okay, your second uh, thing is the band feature celebrity. It is Donnie Cates. Yeah, I forgot about Thanos. He also did Thanos. He's the one who gave us Cosmic Ghost Rider, so you can thank Donnie for that. Uh, another QR code to scan, and I already checked this out. You scan it, and you will see the video of Donnie talking about signing this comic. Oh, hi. Bammers, Donnie Cates here. I just signed a shit ton of comics, and I just want to say thank you, uh, and uh, keep it up, uh, and... Uh, yeah, fucking rad. There you go. <laughs> it's, if you're into slabbed and graded comics uh, that are signed, I mean, that that's a, a pretty good authentication there from CBCS. It's uh, not as golden as CGC, but it's pretty close. I like it. I think it's well worth it. So that was the June <sighs> BAM Comics box. That BAM Comics box. There we go. Uh, if you liked this unboxing, if you'd like to see more like it, subscribe, man. It does help us with the metrics quite a bit. And while you're at it, you can hit the bell icon. You'll be notified whenever we put up a new video. And until you see that new video, later, nerds. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or e? What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.